The wallet is one of the most important components of interacting with any blockchain, be it Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, etc. It's what gives you the ownership of your own asset along with all its responsibilities. They're broadly divided into two categories, hot wallets and cold wallets. In this video, we'll be looking at how they are different from each other and what you should be using. So without wasting more time, let's get started. The most common type of wallet is the hot wallet, also known as a software wallet. A few examples are Metamask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, Mycelium, Exodus, etc. These are in the form of browser plugins, mobile apps, or desktop apps. They are very convenient to use and for the most part are totally free. But the problem is, hot wallets are only as secure as the device they are on. Hence, if your phone or laptop gets hacked or compromised, it's very easy for the hacker to get access to your private key, which means they can have full access to your wallet. On top of that, your devices are usually connected to the internet, which makes them even more vulnerable to attacks. So how is a cold wallet or a hardware wallet different? Well, a cold wallet stores your private key in a completely different device and has a lot more security built into the hardware itself. They are also totally disconnected from the internet when not in use. This makes it impossible to hack a cold wallet remotely. Anyone who has crypto worth more than $1000 should highly consider storing them in a cold wallet. The two most popular hardware wallets in the market right now are Ledgers and Tezos. Having used both of them, I highly recommend a Ledger Nano X. They cost around $60 to $120, but the added security is totally worth it. The biggest disadvantage of a cold wallet is that it can be very clunky to use. We need to turn on the hardware and connect it to the laptop or phone to approve any transaction. Whereas a hot wallet is installed right into your laptop or phone and can be used instantly. Honestly, the best way to use is a combination of both hot and cold wallets. You can use your hot wallet for daily transactions and the cold wallet for storing your valuable assets safely. Hence getting the best of both worlds convenience and security. I'll soon be making a video on how wallets work so we can get a better understanding of the subject. If that's something you're interested in, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more crypto related content. Stay safe, take care and goodbye.